somewhere in your life, you are being beckoned, you're being called, you're being asked to yield to that which is calling you forward. You can hear it. Even if the voice is small, even if the energy is small, you can hear it. There's an internal flame still, hmm, still kindling. And all it needs sometimes is just a little bit of fanning. Sometimes what it needs is a little bit of a reminder that you're, you, you can't fail. You can't mess this thing up. People often ask me, Pro, how did you make it from where we knew you as to where you are right now? And I remind them often that when you make room for your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. Blessings and blessings. My name is Preston Smiles, and I'm extremely excited to be opening the portal, the channel, the space for us to speak about why you really control this podcast, this ceremony, this sacred opening, this container is about why you really control or attempt to control anything and everything you possibly can. Now, it is apropos that I have this shirt on uh, by the gentleman um, formerly known as the ultimate warrior. You see, I grew up in a time where WWE, it was WWF when I was growing up, but it then turned to E. Um, but the worldwide uh, or the wrestling, whatever you would call it, federation, um, had these characters. And a part of <laughs> what myself as a child and many other boys in my neighborhood wanted to do. We all wanted to be one of these characters. Uh, there's Macho Man Randy Savage. There's the Ultimate Warrior. There's Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, all these different characters. And all the characters had the same thing in common, which was they were in control of their bodies, in control. Um, and therefore, and, and this is the drum roll, this is the moment where you the penny starts to drop about you. They were so strong, so in control that they were never vulnerable. And I want to stop for a moment and remind you that there is no intimacy when we are attempting to control ourselves, our bodies, God, there's no intimacy, no magic when we're attempting to control our friends, our families, our partners, our children. Why you really control is based out of some internalized toxic shame, which each and every one of us experience in this lifetime. Now, reminder of a definition, shame essentially states that I, the person, and fundamentally flawed, wrong, bad, unworthy of connection, love, and belonging. Well, this is a tricky thing because as children, we're egocentric, which means we blame everything on ourselves. And then we figure out that we are a separate self. Oh, I am a person. I am a Preston. And that is a mommy and that is a daddy. Uh, but by then, usually there's so much damage that's been done. Plus, we still have school and church and bullies and all the other things that will affirm that something is wrong with us. If we do not have the proper uh, conscious parent that is catching and redirecting us, many, many people, self-included, will operate in the world with these false self mask. We will figure out what mask to wear in order to feel safe. And those masks are a form of control. We ask, want, and desire intimacy from our partners, our friends. We ask, want, and desire to be loved boundlessly. And yet, mm, we're so busy trying to make it happen that there's no space for welcome it, welcoming it. Stop trying to make it happen and welcome it. Remember, life is not happening to us. It's coming from us. The, the, the job, our job is to yield 
to the gifts, talents, abilities, and magic energy that's trying to be birthed through us in any given moment. So many of us have our wings, but we're still holding on to caterpillar consciousness. You are a butterfly on the ground with wings, but you can't fly because you haven't yielded to the next stage of your evolution. You are born to fly. The time for being a caterpillar is up, but you must let go of your control in order to surrender to that which is asking and begging of you from within. Your wings are here. It's time to fly. There are so many scenarios in your life where you're attempting to control so many people and yourself and every aspect that you possibly can that there is no space. The acorn if it attempted to stay the acorn, if the cracking of a shell of that beautiful seed that contains the entire blueprint for the entire tree, if the acorn tried to hold on to the shell, figure out a way to, to go back into the shell, it would be robbing so many people, so many uh, animals. So it would be robbing itself of the opportunity of experiencing the oak tree. Somewhere in your life, you are being beckoned, you're being called, you're being asked to yield to that which is calling you forward. You can hear it, even if the voice is small, even if the energy is small, you can hear it. There's an internal flame still, hmm, still kindling. And all it needs sometimes is just a little bit of fanning. Sometimes what it needs is a little bit of a reminder that you're, you, you can't fail. You can't mess this thing up. People often ask me, Pro, how did you make it from where we knew you as to where you are right now? And I remind them often that when you make room for your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. I said yes to that which was handwritten on my soul. Many of us think that it's our job to understand how, but the how is none of your business. The real question you get to be asking yourself is why and what and who? Who? Because mm. we're born inside of another human and we come out to community. There's always somebody there to catch us usually. And even if it's not a few minutes or a few hours later, we, 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 we're, we're communal beings. And, and yet so many of us, you, are afraid to ask for help. As soon as I figured it out, my whole life changed. What did I figure out? I figured out that the seed contains the blueprint for the entire tree. I figured out that the universal principle that grows the grass, that rotates the planet, <laughs> that creates rainbows and puppies and ice cream and butterflies, that principle is also operating within me and it's my job to get out of the way. Remember, spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we are energetic beings. We are energetic beings. And how do I open the space, the container up for spirit? I let go. I surrender. I yield to the aspects of me that hmm, don't have structure. I'm not asking you to give all of it up. I'm just challenging you to, 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 to begin to, to chip away at everything that's not the David, as Michelangelo said. I'm challenging you to let go and let God, to let go and let flow. There's something here for you when you, when you stop trying to make it happen and learn to welcome it. Because this game is a game of revealing. Everything you ever needed is inside of you right now. I hope you hear me. And if you don't, yeah, that's okay too. Blessings and blessings. I hope that this reached you. If it did, my only request is that you share it with someone else. Pick one person and send this to them. So much love. Blessings and blessings. <laughs>